so I can't walk too far in here because I will absolutely fall through this floor. I'll show you all the weak spots here in a second, but just know it goes all the way up leading to almost to the bathtub and almost right up under the vanity. Thankfully, I don't think we're going to have to take out the vanity or the bathtub to take care of this, but there is some concerning areas in the floor around the bathtub. It's very black. I don't know if it's mold or not. I don't have a lot of experience with mold, but I have heard that you can paint over those areas with kilt paint. It's going to kind of be an experiment today, but that's what we're going to do. Hey y'all, welcome to another mobile home mansion makeover from a trailer park near you. <laughs> a trailer park here in Tennessee. My name is Marina. I am on my way to make my whole entire single wide mobile home and mobile mansion. One room, one area at a time. Gradually, it's evolving into my absolute dream home. Let me show you what we're working with today. The weak spot in the floor. You can, this entire area right, oh my god, I've got one foot holding half my weight over here. Because I'm a big girl, y'all. I don't want to go sinking in the floor no more. I've had my share of falling in holes in my house. I don't want to do it right now. But you can see, that's how bad it is. Do you see that? My foot is literally dipping up under half of the floor. And then we have this one right here. You can see... You can see it does the same thing. Safe to say this bathroom has been inoperable. We've all been using our bathroom because this is just not safe for my kiddos to walk across. I'm not comfortable with them being in here without any flooring or anything. This could cause a big old splinter. I did the hallway first to kind of lead into this because I knew we would have to continue the flooring from the hallway in here to the bathroom because we're using the same flooring I have throughout the rest of my house in here so i knew i had to start in the hallway and make my way over here but i didn't want it to be a slow process so we are hitting this space wide open doing a complete transformation of the whole entire room and hopefully you're going to make this room look like an entirely different room my kiddos have given me some ideas they've told me what colors they want they've told me the theme that they want i don't touch any of their spaces unless it absolutely needs to be touched this bathroom is kind of their domain because this is their bathroom so they've given me a list of things that they want to see in here they want it brighter they want a little bit of color added in here while they actually said this still flowing with the rest of the house if you'll notice let me show you my kids have picked up my style for some reason um, and they have been doing things like this. <laughs> Randomly putting up farmhouse decor in their room. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> it makes my it makes my life easier. But that's the kind of stuff that they've been liking. I think that, you know, I, we didn't have a running theme in our home for so long. When they started seeing all the farmhouse and the modern farmhouse, some of the boho touches in our home, I think they've really grown to like those things. We don't want to make it too grown up because this is my kiddo's bathroom. Don't we want to take that into consideration? So we're going to add some color here and there. Um, a color that they all agreed upon was blue. We had a lot of colors in a lot of places, but we could only agree on one color and that was blue. So we're going to add some blue accents in here. The main thing is to just get this bathroom operable, brighten it up in here and add their chosen color. And that's it, that's all we're really worried about. It is gonna be a complete transformation though, and I'm really excited about it. So let's do the daggone thing. This and I have a feeling it's gonna be a process. It's gonna take a hot minute, so let's get it done. Okay, so you put those studs in there, right? Yeah. Okay, you put those studs in there to provide more support? Yeah, exactly. Okay. And then on top of that here, I've got this one here, which I'm going to get you to help me with because I need to pull it up. It's really tight in there. Okay. And I'm not being able to do it on my own, so I'm hoping that maybe... So you brought in the muscles. Yeah, I brought in the muscles. All right. All right, Mike. And literally, it's You about to have a really bad accident. I'm pretending this is your face. Ooh, my face is already smooth. Let's go, Raina. Let's go. Ooh.
<laughs> Let me try something. Real quick. Oh no. Before I get to um. sanding this down right here because I'm going with a new color of wood in this bathroom and y'all know my despise for mixing and matching wood stains in my house. It dry. I don't know what it looks beautiful in other homes but in my home it really bothers me. So I'm not going to do that instead I'm just going to paint this all white. I think it'll brighten it up a lot in here anyway and it'll put the focus on the mirror piece um, because we're adding some of the wood around it kind of to frame out the frame so maybe it'll work out in my favor i'm not going to do all of this sanding around this framed out window i'm just going to paint it white like the rest of it we have to redo the plumbing in this vanity if you guys don't know we got this vanity second hand from nanny thank <laughs> the, you nanny the vanity from nanny <laughs> um, this is and, our vanity nanny and we had to fix some of the piping. Well, it didn't work out so hot, so we're gonna have to go in and basically modify everything to kind of fit underneath the sink area so that it doesn't cause a whole water issue every time we wash our hands. The last time we had family over, Shane drew an out of order sign and put, on <laughs> and put hand sanitizer beside it. It's smaller on this end, so that's what this rubber piece is. You wanna tell them how you know how to do all the piping and stuff? <laughs> So Shane's not a plumber. Mm -mm, I'm not. <laughs> but he's been redoing trailer popping since you were how old? Ten. Yeah. There's times when we'd have a pipe burst because you know, especially those older mobile homes, them pipes would burst anytime it got cold. It would burst and they freeze up real bad too. And so, um, lucky me. You know, it'd be a week, maybe we couldn't really afford plumbers because they're expensive, yeah. let's be honest. And so I'd be out there trying to figure it out. And I got real acquainted with these things called shark bites. <laughs> because the shark bites were easy for me. You you take the, the pipe that, you know, it's split, and you take a pair of cutters and you cut that part off that's broken. Then you take that shark, the shark teeth, and you slide it on both ends. And you twist it, and the reason they call it shark teeth is when you twist it, these little spike things come out inside and they grip onto the pipe. It was a quick fix. When we were dating, I'd go over to his house, and he'd have to go outside, climb over the trailer, and turn oh. on the water so I could use the bathroom. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm glad you wasn't. Good times. <laughs> I'm glad you wasn't Miss Thing. The one thing about playing with pipes mm -hmm. especially mobile home pipes because it's a lot like legos <laughs> you just put them together i was searching in lowe's for a new sink faucet that that's not gross by the way we we clean the toilet <laughs> trust you me before we start filming because the toilet in here was bad <laughs> that sawdust and everything but but the prices of the faucets made me want to cry so i was like telling shane i don't know if we're going to be able to do this because they were like 150 dollars. i mean like ones that look nice you know so then shane walked over to the clarence by the way i basically live at lowe's lowe's is my second home and i didn't even know the clarence section existed in lowe's walked over to the clarence and found this and it comes with a shower head a complimentary shower head i was like oh heck yeah it doesn't look like it was a much, I mean, that's a lot of savings. I mean, it's over $10 of savings. I mean, that's good for me, but, but I couldn't find anything as cheap as even the $79 in the actual faucet aisle. So this was a score for me. It's the Allen and Roth Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. All right, this is the live fixture that we're going with. The same one that we went with in the hallway. I wanted them to kind of go together. Hopefully this works. If you guys remember, we've had some light fixture issues in that bathroom. You can go back a few months ago and see where the whole ceiling caved in because of leakage. So <laughs> we had to go in and fix that. These aren't too, too heavy, thankfully, which is why I went with this one. After we got it up in the hallway, I realized I was like, this is kind of a light weighted light. <laughs> so we decided to go with this and I also love that anyway. Also go with the black hardware in the bathroom. A lot of you guys have told me to look on Amazon and I completely forget every time I go to look for light fixtures to look on Amazon. I forget that they have like chandeliers and all kinds of stuff for really good prices on there. If I hadn't have started changing out all my light fixtures to this kind of in my house, then I definitely would have went to Amazon. But you know, Lowe's is my home away from home. I need to get like a discount code or something from them. But it, it's really good to order a lot of things online because a lot of things you can find for cheap. But 
this if for some reason we need to take it back we can just take it back like right now and exchange it for something else so that is a pro to shopping at Lowe's. Ready to get this in there? No. <laughs> I've had a doozy of a time. Right, look guys I had to swap out my wedding ring. Your $9.88 wedding ring from Walmart. I'm a simple man. <laughs> I'm the F to the E, R, G to I, the E, and can't no other lady put it down like me. Fergalicious. Mm, mm. My body stay vicious. I be up in the gym just working on my fitness. He my witness. Woo-wee! I put them boys on right, right. And they be lining down the block just to watch what I got. <laughs> 2000s were a very odd time. <laughs> they got daddy singing it in here okay so i got a fan going if you hear it in the background it's because i got some major fumes going on here this is a small space and i've about knocked myself out with paint fumes a good hundred times in this room but we did get this faucet in and we did get the matching drainer thingy in i absolutely love it for all clearance you can't beat it i'm excited to see what it looks like with when the room's finished at the end result Right now, I'm going in and I'm painting all this wall, all this wall, and this wall over here, just a standard white. We're doing white, bright, simple, because we've got a few accent pieces I want to do in here that are really going to pop, I feel like, against that white. So that's the goal. Paint everything white. I used to hate white, but once I started adding white in my house, I haven't went back because of the fact that white makes small areas look really big. It's kind of an illusion. I need this bathroom in particular to look bigger because it's very tiny. I do well to turn around in here. Granted, I'm a big girl, but still, I do well to turn around in here, full circle. So we're gonna get to painting. Look, we got the light fixture up though. Ah, oh, it looks so good. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's almost dark outside and it has brightened up this bathroom. The bathroom is so bright now. If you need to brighten up, if you feel your area, if you feel like your light fixtures are pretty dim, I'm telling you, it might not always be the light bulb. It might be the light fixture. Try the light bulb first because it's cheaper, but in our case, it's almost always been the light fixture. I'm a prophet. I, I said that was gonna happen. I just dropped an entire roll of toilet paper in the paint. Like in the paint can.
it's already looking so much brighter in here. I'm going to get on the vanity. I'm going to paint it this. I'll give you guys the color for it if I can remember. We're going to get these doors off these hinges because I've already painted this vanity with the doors on the hinges and it sucked. So I'm going to take the time to take the doors off the hinges uh, to remove the doors completely from the cabinets uh, before I paint e both the doors and the vanity itself. We still got a long ways to go y'all. So this is what I got. I got the tenable chalkboard paint. Now this in my experience is literally so similar to chalk paint. I know it says chalkboard but as long as you seal it with something in my experience it's never done like anything weird or wonky. It hasn't like chipped or anything like that. Ask them to do it in the color liquid jade which is this middle color right here the middle one that's the color it's like a tilly gray i tell y'all all the time i tell y'all all the time i fly by the seat of my britches on these things i'm literally opening a can of paint with the end of a fork it works ask me how i know because this is literally how i open a majority of my paint cans even though I have a paint opener somewhere lost in the abyss of my bedroom or the many other rooms that are a disaster right now This is how I open my paint can. So this is the color that we're working with out here the Only color that all my kiddos could agree upon so we ran with it. So Shane's taking the handles off of the doors for Shane me right now Oh Shane took <laughs> in past tense. Is that how long I've been talking? <laughs> Yeah. I want to go outside, watch the kiddos play while I put a couple of coats of paint on the cabinet doors and then go in here to the vanity and paint the vanity. I'm expecting it to be about three coats because of that dark brown gray color that's already there. That was actually porch paint, I think. I put porch paint on my vanity because it was more affordable. <laughs> the things you do when you're on a budget. This time we're using chalkboard paint. So still, things you do on a budget. I'm sure I could have went and got such nicer, like the Dixie Bell or, or what is it? Dixie Bell paint or whatever. I don't know. It's like chalk paint or something. It's like fancy chalk paint. It has to be fancy given the price. Could have went and done that, but instead we're just going to do chalk board paint. And it's going to work because then we're going to seal it with some polyacrylic. I think I want to go in with the flat. I usually use the satin. Hardly ever use the gloss. Um, it just depends on if I want it super shiny. In this case, I really don't want it too shiny, but I want it smooth and finished enough to where I can easily wipe it down because it is a bathroom vanity. So we're going to go with the polyacrylic flat kind to seal it. Stay down. You better get get it going, get going tonight. Don't wanna miss, miss it like I did every time. Alright, I'm going to wait for this to dry and then I'm going to flip it over and do the other side. This is only the first coat and it doesn't look like it's going to need three coats like I originally thought. I may just do two coats depending on how the second one looks, but I mean this looks pretty good for one coat. I have to take off about an inch. Same thing we had to do with the other one, right? Yeah. When we did this one, we had to actually saw the whole door. We're going to have to do the same thing with this one. No need to stop, move ahead and get going What? Your stomach. What do you want me to do? <laughs> huh? Push it. I'm doing arts and crafts. <laughs> Well, I didn't pick Henry because he kind of fell off, but I picked him up off the ground <laughs> and took him inside. I'll show you guys him. But look, this one's ready. Oh! 
my babies are growing up they're growing up y'all i still haven't eaten henry because i just can't bring myself to do it yet she but i plan on admire. putting him on a big old blt i just pick him up and admire him every now and then <laughs> what i'll do is this is still a little bit orangey red so i'll just set it up on my countertop where the sunlight comes in and let it ripen for a little bit longer a couple more days cool. this one's gonna forever be a baby tomato though Okay, so we're in the middle of getting ready to put up the new mirror. The old one had to come out, and I also removed that eyesore of... What would you call that, Rena? Abstract. We removed our abstract wood. So I'm going to patch this hole, sand it down, paint this wall so it matches this. I gotta show you guys something. So you know how I have my maters up here, right? We all remember whenever I had that failed attempt at planting maters in the big wooden bucket. I did that before I ever did this side piece right here in front of my house. <laughs> I forgot all about it. I ain't even been watering it. Set it aside. Forgot that it even existed. Forgot I had even tried. And check this out. We have a big old beef steak mater. And then down here, if y'all remember, I couldn't quite remember what I planted down here. Look! It's peppers! I forgot I even planted them, but it's little baby peppers! y'all have definitely never seen in my house before but the kiddos wanted something different they wanted something lighter and brighter hopefully it works out also the wood i'm using it's old wood scrap wood out from under the porch so we're just winging it not in a bad way winging it like we used to but in an affordable way winging it <laughs> Also, the good thing about stain, any color of stain, is it's buildable. So the more you put on it, the darker or the less, the lighter. So we're going to go with the really light coat at first. And then if we need to, build on it. Before we do that, though, this is what that flat coat of polyacrylic looks like on these. It's not shiny, but it's shiny enough to so that you can tell that it's finished. So usually the stain that I get, it looks like coffee almost. Because it's, it's the Jacobian. This, though, where it's lighter... It looks more milkier, but look. It looks like coffee, but it looks like coffee with creamer in it. Like that Italian sweet cream kind of creamer, you know? I'm using a wash rag. Like, not like a face wash rag, because I, I, I usually use my wash rags, and then I run out of them quickly, and I ain't got nothing to wash my tail with. So, I've started using these. They're a step up from paper towel, but not as good as wash rags when it comes to staining. I'm a little bit concerned about how... This is gonna stain because it is a very red-based wood. It almost looks like cedar. I don't know though. Um, it's like got that orangey undertone. I don't know how that's gonna look on it. But this also is a little bit roughed up because it was living under the porch. You know, scrap wood. When we get to the bare minimum here on this channel, it's, it's spare wood. Uh, this ain't doing much but cleaning it. It looks like. <laughs> Another whole can of stain. Thank well, God. Well, at least there's a tarp now. Thank God. It's like two by well, one. You said two by two. <laughs> no, I didn't. I said two yeah, by you did. Ones. I have it on camera. I said two mm -hmm. by one. I have it on camera. These are two by ones. The person know. behind the camera Listen. is the person in charge. We got half the trailer park out here watching us doing this. Okay, yeah. so we're taking these because I don't know if you guys remember the last time we did a blanket ladder. We used two by fours. <laughs> 
<laughs> and Nanny actually took that blanket ladder because it is a big old. It took like two What'd people to carry it. What'd she do with it? Uh, she said that she's keeping it for something other. And I was like, Nanny, get rid of that. That's like a two by four. <laughs> like that thing's uh, heavy. She will not get rid of it. That so. thing was heavy, wasn't it? I forgot about that. <laughs> that was our first like ever blanket ladder. <laughs> And I did most of the building on that one. But this is a two by one, so this is small. This is gonna be what I hang the towels on. I was looking around for some ideas. Didn't really want a towel rack. <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> Didn't really want an over the door towel hanger because we've done that before and it hasn't worked out for us because most of the kids can't reach up all the way to the top to the over the door towel thing. So this is what we're I'm going to try to stain this the same color that I stained the wood that you guys just saw. That's actually going to be the frame that goes behind the new mirror that we got. I'm going to try to stain it that color, but this is a lot lighter. I don't think it's going to pull as red unless, you know, it's, unless that fruit, what is it called? Fruit Loop? What's that stain called? The Unless the Fruit Loop stain, whatever fruit it's called. Loop. Yeah, it's called Fruit something. Unless it's just a red tint base. So I've got to do all, I've got to do these two and I got to do all these rungs right here. And I have to get all that stain out of the shower curtain that's on my porch that's stain turned over in. So this should be fun. Performed in front of a live audience. I'm getting a bunch of feedback here. <laughs> oh no! Jolie! <laughs> Do you see? Jolie! <laughs> we don't know that part! <laughs> the fantasy! Written on the pages in the yes and the no no. That was a perfect fit. Mm -hmm. How'd you do that? I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Like, I, like, it's one of those things where I would like to take the credit, but let's just give it to a bathroom and I'm gonna walk you through my thought process because a lot of this has been hit and miss because this particular mobile home makeover has went on for days it's overstayed it's welcome I'm ready for it to go I don't even want to mess with nothing else in there but we're finishing off we're topping it off with some decor and that's the fun part that's my favorite part I don't like the other stuff the hands-on stuff I, I it's for the it's for the birds I like the decor part so here in a minute I will go in and walk you through and I'll do some after shots and stuff like that right now in my soup bowl here I'm doing this with this uh, poison ivy looking stuff I, I don't know Shane picked it out 
poison ivy got from the Hobby Lobby. So this I'm a little bit concerned about. It is a from the ceiling hanger flower basket plant hook thing. <laughs> you, like, you like that name? Shane don't want to do it because already we've been up in close and personal with our ceiling and we know there's not a lot of beams up there. So we're not going to do it from the ceiling. We're going to try to hang it from the wall just far away from the wall and try to get the same look and feel as if it were hanging from the ceiling. No. <laughs> there we go. Done. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you're tossing a salad. It really looks like a salad. You're missing it. Every time I have it almost open, you start twirling it. Stop. <laughs> no. I'm not scared of lions and tigers and bears, but I'm scared of. Hold it up. I, I said not to tighten it. I, I swear. <gasps> Can somebody bring me in the toilet? Back? <laughs> so Shane, Shane thinks that we should hang vines because he don't want to hang that thing just up here. I don't want to hang vines. It honestly looks unfinished without anything, but I don't want to hang that from the ceiling either. I also want my money back because Hobby Lobby gave me a plant girdle that don't work. Yeah, I agree. The only thing that I will not have in this bathroom at the end result is the rug. So I couldn't find rugs that I liked at both TJ Maxx and where did I sit? Ross. I couldn't yes. find any bathroom rugs that I like. If you guys remember, I got the ones in my bathroom off Amazon. I'm going to look on Amazon for some that goes in here and matches the color scheme and stuff. But other than that, the bathroom will be completely finished when y'all see the end result. I don't forget Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I always wanted dimples and I prayed that one of my kiddos would have them. And look at them! I'm done! Okay, so here's the floor. It's in the Traffic Master Taupe Oak. We did a blanket ladder, not with two by fours this time. I actually love the size of it. It's perfect for a towel rack, which was the look I was going for. I left this one here because Shane said he likes it. I don't know. It does kind of give me some um, Hobby Lobby Home Improvement Magazine kind of thing. I don't know why though. <laughs> we got a new door. And I didn't paint it yet, like I haven't painted the boys yet because I don't really know what color I want to paint it or if I want to leave it like this off-white. It does like bounce off the trim because the trim is bright white and this is more off-white, cream colored, like not really cream but off-white. So I don't know if I'm going to leave it this color or if I'm going to change it. So until I know, I'm going to leave all of them alone as we install them because we're going through and we're changing out all the doors in the house and all the light fixtures. Speaking of, this is the new light fixture and it gives so much light in here, so much more than the old one. Moving on to the shower curtain and the shower hanger thingy doodles. Those are both from TJ Maxx. Almost everything in this bathroom is Ross or TJ Maxx. I wasn't playing when it came to being on a budget with this makeover because I knew there was going to be big new flooring, holes in the walls, all those things. So I wanted to go as much on a budget as I possibly could. This, I need to steam it. One of you guys so graciously sent me a steamer and I've got to learn how to use it. But as soon as I learn how to use it, I'm going to use it on this sucker. This will be the first thing I use it on. I love the fringe at the bottom. I actually love it. And it plays off these colors so well. I've got this muted, like, blue right here. It's like a teal. The same teal. It's like the same, on the same color scheme as a teal of my vanity. And I just love it. Trash can was from TJ Maxx I believe. This is just reused because I had it in my bathroom but it fits better in here, works better in here. I needed an off the toilet toilet paper holder because of such a small space. The toilet scrubbers over here. This basket's from TJ Maxx. In here I don't have anything yet but we're going to keep our toilet paper over here and then we're going to keep our, what is it called, poopori? I'm going to get fancy and buy some of that poopori. Yeah, potpourri. 
I'm going to get some of that and put in here. And we're going to put some um, air fresheners in here and just little smell good thingies in here just to keep it fresh in here. This is the only thing that is not from TJ Maxx, I believe. This is from Hobby Lobby. That and the pineapple plant. I went with the pineapple plant because this is my kiddo's bathroom. And they did ask for it to have some color in it to be bright, airy. And, like, I wanted to give it a whimsical kind of feel. Not really that a pineapple gives it a whimsical feel, but it does kind of, you walk in here and you're like, okay, it's a kiddo's bathroom. It's the second bathroom to where the kiddos use bathroom. Those two are the only things that are from Hobby Lobby. We used old wood, old extra wood for out from under the porch for the back of this. And I did stain it with that, I think it's like fruit fly or something like that. I can't remember what it's called, but it's the stain that the kiddos picked out at Lowe's when we went. I had let them have the reins and they picked out the colors. They picked out the stains, all of that. So it does have some nicks in it, especially behind this plant. But I love how when I put this plant here, it covered up that little nick area that it had. I couldn't fix it. I even tried to put extra stain on it. And I couldn't fix it. This is also uh, something like, you know, obviously the main things are from Lowe's, like when it doesn't come to decor related. So this mirror is from Lowe's. I just had Shane layer it on this like back piece right here. We just kind of framed it out, but it makes it look like it's sitting on top of it. So it looks layered, which is the look that I was going for. This we got on clearance at Lowe's. It also came with the shower head and the drain thing. This we got at Five Below. It was supposed to be a corner shelf that originally was supposed to go up here. But I saw this and I just was like, oh, that looks like it would fit there. And I put it back here and I was like, oh, snap. So this is where we'll keep our soap and our toothbrushes and toothpaste and stuff like that. Both of those things are from TJ Maxx. By the way, that's from Hobby Lobby. This is from Five Below. This is from Lowe's. And these towels are from TJ Maxx. All my towels were from TJ Maxx. And then the showstopper. This beautiful vanity. It don't even look like the same vanity. I love it. The kiddos outdid themselves picking out this color. I'm not kidding. The black hardware. I just spray painted the hardware that I already had there. It's actually hardware I've had for years. It was when I redid my kitchen the first time. I just went in and spray painted it. Because I'm not a fan of silver hardware. But that black against that teal blue color. is just absolutely beautiful. And I love how the teal is muted enough. To where it, it has like a gray undertone. So it's not so bam and in your face. But it's enough to give it color in here. Like the kiddos want. This vanity was a hand-me-down for my nanny, so it really just freshened up that entire thing. It don't even feel like the same vanity. Down here, we're going to keep our extra wash rags. Right now, I just got the extra hand towel in there. I got to fill up the toilet thing with some toilet paper, too, before we get to really putting this thing into use. But this is what it looks like. I'm actually happy that the ceiling thing didn't work out. I will be taking it back to get my money. It just it would have looked like too much because we already have some greenery in here going. We don't want it Georgia the Jungle vibes. So I'm actually happy that it just, it's simple. What I may do later is I may go in over here on this wall because it looks kind of bare. I may go in and do like a cricket hanging picture or something like that. Something DIY. I don't know yet. Don't want to crowd it up in here. I really love how open an area it looks, but I'm so happy with the way that this came out. I will tell you though, this one, I did not think it was going to come out good. I was worried up until we started decorating with the decor. The decor did do something in here because I was worried at first, not going to lie. <laughs> I love you guys. I hope you have a blessed morning, eat a night, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you, but Jesus loves you more. I'll see y'all later. Do you like it? We can almost can we use a sink now? You guys like it? Yeah. Mom and Daddy can do good? Is it to your liking? All your colors and your stains and stuff? Orange, yellow, green, and blue, and we're going right <laughs>